外人ゲーミングジェネレーションギャップへようこそ。Episode of Gaijin Gaming Generation Gap. Hideo,、uh, he, he was died. In a uh, he died. Like, <laughs> he, like、uh, I don't know, his ass caught on fire, and like all that was left was the,、uh, like the I don't know. It was his plans. Any... It was all that was left were his plans for this podcast to go on. He was like, "Hey, Matt, do you want to do the podcast?" And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, he "Calls up Max. Hey, Max, are you gonna do the podcast with Matt?" <laughs>、like, so here we are. Yeah, You're we missing out. We don't, we don't need him. Don't, he, he's not even he's a gamer, like, dude. Yeah, I mean, he's like,、uh, he's what he he gamed for like like I don't know like three months. He was like, "I'm a gamer now." <laughs> he also bought a major fucking PC though. Yes,、so. he is probably、uh, playing games on his. What what was it? Two thousand dollar gaming PC? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's it's a beast. I saw it in action.、Um, yeah, it played like cyberpunk at a normal speed, like at a, <laughs> at its proposed speed. Were, were they were they t posing at the appropriate speed as well? <laughs> That always happens. So you know what? <laughs> no matter what computer you have, no I wouldn't play the computer. Are they still selling Cyberpunk in the store for PS4? Oh, I haven't heard about that. But yeah, they took <laughs> it off the store, and it's like so、mm. funny because that's the first time it's ever happened in history. Like, really? Yeah, them straight up saying, "Oh crap!" Like,、um, refund, guys.、Um, mm-hmm. This didn't really work out the way we wanted it to. I was actually talking about、uh, talking about Cyberpunk with Hideo the other day, and I was like, you know, as soon as Keanu Reeves came up out, out on stage, I was like, oh no, this game is this game is not going to be good. I promise you, because they're overcompensating so hard. And, he's and like, they did. Gorgeous. And the game wasn't. Keanu carries the game, like. Outside and inside, like, really? Yeah, outside and inside. You you just want to <laughs> see Keanu. That is,、uh, yeah. Yeah. So, man, what if you what if, in, in in proper、uh, G G G G G、um, tradition? What? <laughs> what have you been playing? Well,、uh, I don't know if you heard, but.、Um... Hideo has graciously donated his PlayStation 4 to my cause. Yeah,、uh, he sure I, did. I don't, I don't know why, man, but he he did it, and、uh, I'm eternally grateful.、Uh, I've actually been like he gave me like、uh, he, he gave, gave me a bunch entire set. Ah,、uh, yeah, it, like I was like I feel bad for like taking all your games. So like the ones that I took from him were your favorite game, The Last of Us Part Two. And <laughs> sorry, what you just cut off? You cut off? <laughs> you cut off that 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 entire. I, I thought about like Last there's, of Us Part. It's like a big black square on his <laughs> screen right now. Like it's like something's blocking it out. Okay. Control.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I I figured this one would be good to play for free. And then uh, uh, I actually played a little bit of Spider Man. I wasn't as、uh, satisfied. Did, did it really make you feel like Spider Man though? Oh yeah, I, oh, that was、uh, you took it from me. Yeah, okay. And then <laughs> really, <God> of <laughs> the whole time I was like, this really makes you feel like Spider. It doesn't really make me feel like. Do you, do you do you call your son boy now? Uh, actually, I have not played God of War yet because I want to sit down and play the whole thing through without interruption. Soon, soon you'll be calling your son boy. Oh my god! I think I I, I think I have to. Boy, I actually don't even know. <laughs> Raises it so, but actually,、uh, unfortunately, I've been playing the the new Weeb classic. Oh shit! Of course you'd be playing that. Of course well, you'd be playing that. Well, why would you think? Of course I'd be playing that. Because you're a fucking boomer. <laughs>、uh, 
<laughs> Here's the thing. I actually hadn't played uh, Final Fantasy VII all the way through until like 2018. I just recently played through uh, Final uh... Fantasy VII. And then like I'd always been interested in the story. And then I, like, I tried it back on PS3 and it was just like, I don't have 2,000 hours to do this game. But like they put it out on the Switch and it's like, Hey, invincibility and three times fast. I was like, hey, let me just burn through this game for the story. And then it was it was fun. Oh. And then it was actually you, like you, you run into that. I didn't know you had the whole invincibility thing. Yeah, it's actually um, you think it would just like you just overpower the game, but you can't because like your health will regenerate, but you can still get one shotted from enemies. Uh... So comes up and bam 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 one shots you all you, you're dead and you have to go back so mm. i lost about i lost about an hour or two hours <laughs> on that game yeah no, I, tried, I, I tried playing final fantasy and like my attention span drifted like <laughs> uh, yeah you know, <laughs> these games didn't age well yeah but um uh i actually i hate to say i might like final fantasy 7 original better like everybody is just like riding clouds ding dong like the whole like first six hours of the game like cloud you're so great oh cloud that's how the fans feel too like yeah I, it, it, i've barely played any final fantasy games and i have a huge fucking hard on for cloud like he's uh, he's cloud man he's the man he's the man <laughs> the man with the big sword it's huge dude like <laughs> But like I feel like it's just like too too much, way too much. Like, and th there's there's that one character that's like his fangirl or something that really wants his fucking dick. No, there's two of them. Tifa is one of them, and then it's the I like, forgot her name. I forgot the, I'm pretty the, the little henchman. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, don't don't spoil it for me. But I'm pretty sure this person's gonna die. So anyway, yeah. uh, yeah. So what are you playing right now? <laughs> me. Let me pull up the Steam library. Well, oh, obviously, no. I've been, <laughs> I've been stuck in multiplayer game hell again. Good for but you. Other than that, like like Dota, fuck my, mm -hmm. my Steam library has frozen. But You're I download, yeah. But then Dota. there's like a new, there's this new thing that I found. Like there's this new game that Steam recommended that was like another mm -hmm. multiplayer game. It's called mm -hmm. Knockout City. I'm, I actually heard of that what is i'm that? trying to play that now so it's let me pull up oh pull I, up. yeah it's the one throw the ball at people it's and the, it's the dodgeball game so mm. like it has some really like pretty unique pvp mechanics i think mm. but like it's like a 3v3 dodgeball game sort of thing and would I'm you like, say the new ninjala <laughs> <laughs> i've heard i've heard about ninjala yeah, I played Ninjala for about 10 minutes and I was done. What is that again? I'm Googling that. It, it's like not Splatoon. Oh, but it's... it has like the exact same aesthetic as this game. Holy yes. Crap. It yeah, really it has the exact same aesthetic as this game. Mm -hmm. It's it's like, like this is like the third derivative of the Splatoon aesthetic. Like, yes, <laughs> yes. I was thinking that exactly. This is this, this the fucking Splatoon aesthetic. Mm hmm yep uh like if you like it that's great i'm just like i really love splatoon dude i've been playing splatoon 2 for years now i'm really psyched for the third one coming up yeah so. i've never i haven't touched Splatoon ever but yeah this mm. game is like i don't know it seems like it's gonna be one of those games that let like are fun for like the first half hour and then like yeah I feel like it just kind of lacks depth right now like the community is not very you know, with, with multiplayer games, like competitive ones, like the community sort of is the one that drives it forward, like drives the advanced mechanics and like advanced whatever for like they discover shit. Right. But this is just right. what happens with like a totally new kind of game. Like nobody knows what the hell they're doing. So. But that's actually the best time to jump in, because like if, if nobody knows what they're doing, you can't just get thumped like like for coming in. And then they're like, oh, that guy sucks. Like what? Like. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But also, with, it's like okay. it can either make it or break it. Like in the next few weeks, mm -hmm. if it if it has depth, it it will make it. If it just looks like it has depth, which, like after playing it for like I played it for like two hours and like I don't know, I feel like 
it might be missing something, but we'll see. Right. We don't know. Yeah, uh, it's it, this is free to play, right? It's free to play right now. I I, uh, I did not see that, so I bought the game <laughs> for like twenty dollars. Uh -huh. it's, it's free to play right now, so. Yeah, it it smells like a free to play game. Mm -hmm. It but it, no, it's it's only free to play for uh for a limited time. So that's actually mm. pretty, that's that's pretty, pretty interesting. I've never seen a game that's like. Oh, try as free, and then you have to buy it. So I've never had a game like that before. So you've never played a demo. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not. Well, it's not technically a demo because it's the actual game. Like it's the literal, like actual game. Mm -hmm. It does look all right. I'm 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 deep into the Final Fantasy, and uh, I'm actually I'm playing Star Wars uh, Fallen Jedi. What is it? Fallen Fallen Sekiro. No, it, it, it's good. It's Star, good. I, Star Souls Fallen Sekiro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, wow, I've never played a Soulsborne before, but this must be what it's it's like for children, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like um, it is literally just like a poor man Sekiro. Like it's, I, I hate saying that it's the Sekiro of of Star Wars games. It's the Dark Souls <laughs> of Star Wars games. And but it really. I, like, I, and then you know what? That's fine. This is uh, this game is better than uh, the prequels, and it's better than the, uh, the sequels. The sequels. I, yeah, I've been having more fun with it than watching the movies, honestly. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, like yeah. it's 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 just a fun game. It's just a fun mm -hmm. game. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then like, yeah, I just uh, that Final Fantasy though. It it looks really good on the on the PS uh, PS4 Slim. I'd say. Okay, so. Uh, moving on, let's uh, let's keep let's uh, we've we've been doing good. I won't have to make cuts so far. Um, <laughs> what I like so now that I have a new console, um, I guess I, let's just get into the subject of buying some uh, game system retroactively or like uh, you know inheriting it. I guess <laughs> getting it this handed is, to you. Yeah, getting it handed to me. This <laughs> is uh. This is the third time that this has probably happened in my life. I just like get a game console cheap or uh, or cheap as free. And then it happened with the PlayStation 2. I I was uh, <laughs> somebody was desperate for money in <laughs> my old college neighborhood. He's like, hey, hey, man, do you want to buy my PS4 and I was, my PS2? And I was like, uh, sure, man. How much do you want it for? He's like, I'll give it to you for um how about sixty dollars? I was like forty, and he's like, oh, "Okay, man, uh, yeah, yeah, here you go." <laughs> I, what yeah, a no, deal! Look, looking back on it, I uh, I really hope I didn't buy a stolen PS2, <laughs> but <laughs> it was okay. It broke like three months later, and I was like really good to it. But I got to play about, and then I I got like uh, Xbox 360, like at the end of its life. Same with the PS3, and then I played that till it died, and then like games are always like cheaper when they come back with this like so like my my list of games uh, with the exception of like one is going to be dirt cheap Let, let's go for it persona 5 metal gear solid 5 bloodborne resident evil 2 sekiro horizon zero dawn uh you've Uncharted got a lot of exclusives to go through <laughs> and fallout 4 yeah absolutely i do um and then um, I actually, I actually want to play Village. I think it'll be fine on PS4. Um, um, yeah, I mean, if you've never seen 60 FPS gameplay, then yes, it should be fine. It's uh, it's it's uh, it's actually not as uh, like like because I haven't really gotten my hands on a PS4, and I've been seeing the gameplay of a PS5, and then seeing the PS4 gameplay, I'm like. Yeah, this is better than Switch, but like, <laughs> it's still not it's still not hitting that PS5 mark. Not not by a long shot. You know. What the the, the the PS4 or? Oh yeah, PS4. Like right. I can definitely see where it has room to grow. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like even in like Cloud's hair, it's really smooth. You 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 like zoom in and like you can see all the follicles. But as soon as you zoom out, it's very slowly. Um, what's what's the term like it changes like to lower pixelation yeah it's... like it just scales down like it like it downscales uh, it downscales the like the texture or like the rendered quality yeah. 
the scaling comes back and you can kind of see like it, it just looks like a bunch of spikes coming like out of his head it becomes like, a ps1 version yeah i was gonna say <laughs> it's starting to look <laughs> funny no it's still really gorgeous uh like all the like oh, my friend robbie was saying like something about hand painting backgrounds i look up and i was like oh yeah there it is it was gorgeous gorgeous mm. so you that you're still looking for that ps5 right <sighs> update me it on the released, situation ps5 released november it is now almost um june mm -hmm. and i am still the proud owner of just the De demon souls disc <laughs> and not oh PS5. no hey guys i Am bought I that because i thought that i could yeah, that like a normal console you know like after a few months you can just buy right. it mm -hmm. i was very wrong i have i entered two lotteries this month i failed oh one so here's hoping that other one pulls through but if i don't I'm just gonna be stuck to sniffing this disc and not playing it. How's it smell? It smells like next gen. It's gonna smell like an by the time you get that PS5, dude. It's gonna smell like an old car by the time you get the PS5. <laughs> it's not even out it, of its case. The, by the time you get a PS5, they're gonna have the slim version out. <laughs> they're gonna have the black version out. I want that black version. Have you seen the the black controllers? Uh, no, I haven't. They're making those. They're making those. Well, let me let me find those. PS5 black controllers. Oh my god, are they out already? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not out already. But here. there's not even enough multiplayer games to like have it like, and then not enough PS5s to sell out all their controllers right here look Let's at see. that shit that's hot man i uh i'm actually kind of partial to that red one look at that yeah they're Ooh. red the, i've Ooh. never like this looks really like clean man mm -hmm. i will agree with you on that one look at this look at <sighs> the black vs5 controller though oh god i'm drooling right now i'm like <laughs> drooling right now i wasn't a big fan of the white banana wrapped around that uh yeah, yeah, it looks the white like a big banana. Oh, I can't, like I, I can't unsee it now. <laughs> ah, it just looks like, like a banana wrapped around your controller, right? I can't unsee it now. It literally mm. is a banana. <laughs> you just call it the banana controller. That black looks really. It looks more traditional. It looks comfy. This is just what we wanted. This is literally just what we wanted. Like, come on, I, guys. I gotta say, I've been playing on the the pro controller for the Switch. And then uh, the Joy Cons for the Switch, mm. and I gotta say that PS4 controller is just—it's just hammering me like right here and right here, yeah, like the all PS presses. The PS4 Ooh. controller, like, it's actually like not that comfortable. I don't know why, because I, I was okay with the PS3. Like, is it that much different? I have no idea, but like, actually, it it, it is comfortable, but I don't use it for that long. I guess like. Right. Like, what was so good about the Xbox controllers and the Switch controllers is that the left stick and the right stick are not symmetrical. Yep. And, like, that really adds to the ergonomics. You can, like, just rest and shit. But this is like, ugh. It's like, ugh. I'm a gamer. You know, um, I gotta, I gotta say, like, I used to be really uh, partial to... I think I said a word partial already. I used to be really partial to the PlayStation controller. Because I was a huge Katamari Damacy fan. Mm. And then the parallel sticks is necessary for that game. It's like damn near impossible to play without. They need they need a they need to remake Katamari Damacy. No what no, here's what they need to do. They need to re-release We Love Katamari uh from PS2 because it's stuck on the PlayStation 2. Like I like the original game, I like the 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 like the remaster and collection that they did after that. There is no Katamari like we love Katamari is the best game in the series and it's stuck on PS2, which oh, is oh they actually did make a remake of Katamari Damacy. 
The, yeah, it's a, called t- Katamari Damashi Reroll, and then oh. I bought it day one, not even on sale. I was, I'm just like a big fan of it. My daughter loves it. Do, 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 do. Dude, that song slaps, man. The OC is so good. Mm. Daddy, you want to play Katamari? And I was like, of course I do. When do I not? Katamari, it's so aesthetically like nothing mm-hmm. looks like this ever. Like the the like? the game designer, I, I don't even remember his name, but he like wants to do like this thing where he like makes a new game every time. And he only wanted to make the first Katamari, and like Namco's like, we're gonna do this without you. Like he's like, okay, I'll make a sequel, fine. And then like he blew it out of the water, and then they were like, hey, we're gonna do it again. I can't remember what he did after that, but like they they made a few games without him, and then but now the series is dead. So it's really yeah, sad. like dude, it it deserves more. Like, like it's yeah. Pretty- nothing is Uh, like it that's why it's like so good like it's it's the evolution of like a a pac-man speed running type game like you have to collect all the dots you have to eat up all the dots in a set amount of time and it's a it's like a score runner it's it's like like i find so many similarities between pac-man it's just funny it is it's it's so funny like the the right the, I know that the writing is like funny. I've I haven't I've played like a bit of it, and like I th- if I'm not wrong, like I think the right like it's like really comedic in tone. I guess it's pretty ridiculous, <laughs> and like just the the concept of like sticking shit and just like making a giant ball that eat the engulf the entire planet is like that's hilarious. Uh, like, give a shout out to that music too. I mean, the music seriously. is also really good. Like. A this, single star in the sky. <laughs> like great. if if this game did not have its aesthetics and just mm-hmm. the gameplay, like it would not have been this like popular. Like that's a testament to how solid its you know yeah shit are. That's really cool. Like I would say, I would say Katamari and Splatoon also has this aesthetic that's really solid. Mm-hmm. Like every moving part of the machine works together to create something amazing. So. I want you. I, I would really like to see you on Splatoon three when it comes out next year. I would really like, love for you. Splatoon three. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't even know there was going to be Splatoon three. I think I did, but like I don't. I've never yeah. touched Splatoon in my life, so it's so good, dude. Like, I, I mean, if you like, if you like the uh, like arena style kind of stuff like that, like uh, what was that uh, knockout? Yeah, knockout. Uh, All- Knockout like knockout, knockout champ, and whatever the hell the game was. I don't know. I just, I just think, like after playing on PC for so long, mouse and keyboard versus controller is like no contest. Guess what? Splatoon is famous for its uh, uh, motion controls. It feels like uh, uh, using a mouse. I really? play kind of a. I don't use the controller. I use like two Joy Cons, and then actually, like you use the right Joy Con as like a mouse to like point and click. Oh, your I forgot so, that. I forgot so I, that it had motion controls. The motion, co- like the it's the greatest game with uh not had not motion controls, motion aiming. Mm. It's the best motion aiming ever, like hands down. If the aim is good, then mm-hmm. I could I could get on that. I also just like the aesthetic. Like, mm-hmm. dude, these characters are like dripped out. They're like, they they got these characters got like style, man. Like, damn, that's part of it. That's 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 the that's the whole like aesthetic the aesthetic of the, like they're they're squids, they're kids, they they have style, they they turf battle. Like and then, I just want to make a character. Like I just want to get this game to make a character. <laughs> the the character creator is actually pretty like like it's in Splatoon two. It's pretty limited. Um, and then mm. all your all your gear gives you different power ups and shit. Mm, I think with the third one, it's gonna be a little more like decked out. You can really customize your squid. I think that's one of the things that they can improve on. Also, Splatoon 2 is basically Splatoon 1.5. Hmm. 
a lot of the old game is is in the new one because they were like, we got to get this off the Wii U. <laughs> like we got to because <laughs> that was hands down probably best or second best game on the Wii U. Mm, okay. Tied with Mario Maker, I guess. I might get on that. I might get on that. I might try hard this game. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Another yeah. try hard game. Fuck. I don't have a life. <laughs> I, it's it's nice. Like you can you can blame your uh, blame your teammates when you uh, when you fail. So it's like uh, oh, man. these am, guys are. I am not <laughs> new to that. <laughs> yeah. These guys are these guys are noobs. But sometimes you just get the the shit kicked out of you, and then you're like. Got to give it up for the sniper, who does nothing but <laughs> play this game all day. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, man. What been I'm, a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> but like, also another favorite of mine. We're getting Pokemon remixes here. Like, you have anything to say about that? <laughs> Uh, 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 not about the remix. Uh, I'm I'm curious what you think about what is it, Arceus? The new one, right? Yeah, the new new one. Mm -hmm. I think that no matter what, like we haven't talked about this on the podcast, right? Like, these no, we have no, like we not haven't. since they announced this, like the only new Pokemon game ever, like. It's like they've they've taken the like the Game Boy aesthetic and then they're just like, uh, let's just make it a little prettier, but like nothing new. I think I feel like if it's like action oriented, like you're throwing Pokeballs, you catch the Pokemon and then you just let the thing do what it needs to do. I think that's kind of a new thing. Yeah, I think this when is literally like what Pokemon ha fans have literally wanted, like an immersive Pokemon right. game. And like, I think. Game Freak's gonna fuck it up. Like we know this. We know. I, uh, we know. Game Freak's gonna screw it up. Games are gonna get like they're just gonna screw the pooch on this game so fucking hard. But the point is, like it's a direction that they're going on. Like this clearly, they're gonna make more Pokemon Legends, right? They're gonna make more of these, mm -hmm. and right. hopefully something goes through the fucking company's head because they've been stuck in like the '90s for like literally 20 years with how they think about making games. Game Boy aesthetic, yep. And not not exactly the Game Boy aesthetic, but like, just like they don't like they don't really care to change what they do, or and like they don't really. Mm -hmm. ah, it's really hard to explain, but it's like there's, there's been so much no great revelation. Yeah, with yeah, the game. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they've been they've just been stuck. What shiny? I was, as <laughs> soon as I heard shiny, I was like, all right, guys, peace. I'm out. Like. I'm not catching any shiny Pokemon. Like, yeah, and I don't know. I'm just excited to see the direction they'll take. Yep. Game Freak's gonna fuck it up. They're gonna, they're gonna cut corners in every single possible way. They're gonna cut so much corners that it's gonna like, God. it's just, <laughs> it's, just gonna, it's just gonna be ass. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited, and I'm actually excited for the Diamond and Pearl remake, like the 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 the, the DS style Game Boy remake because. That's also something totally new, but also like we have a totally modern game also coming out. So, mm -hmm. and also this is really big history because this is the first time that Game Freak have um, outsourced their development, like for like a major title. It's probably it's, a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing because Game Freak, they they're they're bad at making their own fucking games. <laughs> they're just bad at. They want to keep all the money for themselves. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. And like, I don't know. Finally, they don't. Maybe because they're not working themselves to death. Mm. The Arceus game will be good. Arceus. Is that... <laughs> yeah. I've already. Fun fact. Arceus can. Arceus has been pronounced Arceus. Arceus. Ar and Arceus. <laughs> like I was. A... <laughs> yeah. So I say Arceus. So yeah, but like apparently in the UK they don't do they don't say Arceus for obvious reasons. You you get my drift, Ar Arce Arceus, Ar Arce, bum bum Arce Ars Arce. 
It doesn't even sound like that to me, but okay. I was like, is he trying like not to say ass? No, but literally, literally, that's that's literally yeah. why they don't say Arceus in the UK. Okie okay, so. doke. Yeah. Now they should just say Pokemon Arse. <laughs> Pokemon ass. Make them jinx clap. <laughs> oh yes, Gardevoir. Hmm. Well, sir, it's uh it's a uh, ten forty two. I gotta I gotta get. You busy. got kids. You got children. Yeah. Outro time? Yeah, let's let the outro play. Something. I, I've, I think I've only used it once when I was eating the melon pond. Did you see that video? No. Oh my, oh my god, you gotta watch me eat melon pond at the end. I, I, was, I was predicting the uh, Nintendo Direct would be disappointing. And then uh, I, I had all the all the, all the Mario food from Seven. Do you remember that? I didn't play that. No, 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 no. Mario, Mario, thirty fifth anniversary. They had uh, like at Seven Eleven in Japan. They had a bunch of Mario. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like shoving him in my mouth. I was like, oh, we all love video games. Oh, like, <laughs> so check it out. It's like four minutes. You'll uh, and then I actually use the Gaijin Gaming. He's Gap. he's advertising himself on the podcast. Yeah, I, it's it's all come full circle. We don't we don't. It's uh, th- this is just a big meta commentary. Like like I want. I also eventually I want to do a thing about like these Nintendo like predictors, these fortune tellers that are on YouTube that are just garbage, just just straight junk garbage, dude. And then like. The the f- first half of the video is like, here's my social media. Please subscribe to me. I don't want to work anymore. Blah. And then, and then it's like the same thing everybody's already said. It hurts, dude. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> so, so you do you think they'll be allowed to sell the 35th anniversary? I think it was gonna give us uh, all these things. That Breath of the give. Wild do. Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be amazing, but I really hope there's no breakable weapons or rain. I really hope that nothing unique is in this game. They're My top to 10 hopes for Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah my, uh, do you think we'll have any uh, new uh, revelations that come into play during E3 time? <laughs> this is too accurate. This is too accurate. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I gotta head out. Outro. Outro Send time. me this. Bah, 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 bah. Everybody, go subscribe to Yamato Beats. He's a fucking beast. Yeah. All right. Subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. I don't know. What, what do they do on YouTube? This is stupid. <laughs> All right. I gotta go. Send me I, the link. I'll edit it. Yes, sir. I'll edit that whole Bye. thing. Bye. All right. Peace. <laughs>